Hello and welcome to another episode of the KB series of my channel. This is where I'll be explaining some basic computer networking terms and tasks. The ones that I think are useful to know in order to understand the main videos of this channel better. And in this video, we're going to see how we can connect our own wireless router to a Verizon 5G home internet gateway. By default, the Verizon Internet Gateway is a 5G modem and a wireless router combined together. So in order to connect our own wireless router to this, we should first somehow disable the wireless router feature here, because we don't want to have two routers back to back in our network. So all I need to do on the Verizon Internet Gateway is to enable a feature called IP Pass Through. This will automatically disable the wireless router here, meaning that this device will no longer act as a router. It will no longer broadcast any wireless networks and the LAN number 1 will no longer provide internet access. The LAN number 2 will become the IP Pass Through port and I should connect my wireless router to this port. At this point, I'm going to connect a computer with an Ethernet cable to the LAN number 1 on the Verizon gateway. And I'm going to use this computer to enable the IP pass through mode here. I can also connect the computer to the Wi-Fi of the Verizon Internet Gateway instead of its LAN number 1 port. But because at some point this will stop broadcasting wireless networks, I'm gonna get disconnected and in case I need to make any further changes, unfortunately I won't be able to. So wired connection is preferred for this purpose. Now I should open an internet browser on this computer and navigate to the IP address of the Verizon Internet Gateway, log into its web interface and then enable the IP pass through. There are however two different Verizon Internet Gateway models and enabling the IP pass through mode would be different in each of them. So if I have this model, I should follow these steps and if I have this model, I should follow these steps. The model number is written on the bottom of the device. After it is done, the Verizon Internet Gateway will reboot and then I can connect the WAN port of my wireless router to the LAN number 2 of the Verizon Internet Gateway, which at this point should be a 5G modem. In case you need to know more details on how you should connect the wireless router to the modem or how you should do the basic setup on the wireless router, feel free to watch these two KB videos. Thank you very much for watching this KB video. Please like it if you liked it and subscribe if you like to see more. Thank you again and I will see you soon.